Who's more influential to the culture? Nas or Ghostface? Ooh. <laughs> influential? Influential to the, to culture, the culture as a whole. What do you mean influential? Everything. Music, style, fashion, words, everything to the whole oh, culture. Oh, man, that's, that's a f- bit of nice shit. They bit yeah. off nice shit. But who said that? Exactly. Ghost. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's so a are thing. you saying that you think it's Ghostface? I, I, would, I, would, I would say so. Yeah. Influential. To Influential. Not who makes better music. But how about this? How about this? You could even, you could even take Nas out of it. Who's more influential than Ghostface, Ghostface, period? Yeah. Ray and Ghost. Yeah. Really, like, who's more influential than Ray and Ray, Ghost, period? Ray and Ghost is different than Ghost. Yeah. It's a whole separate thing. Ray and Ghost is a thing, yeah. its own thing, and then Ghost, even when you catch Raekwon rhyming on a solo Ghost album, they go into Ray and Ghost mode. Yeah. But the rest of it is Ghost, like... Yeah. Yo, they're really setting up outside this about, room. The yeah, room right, like, it's about to go down. To Max. The party. What's the party? Is it like it feels like it's gonna be a situation? Oh, it's Miami. Bro, it's they've, been, they've been setting up for about Bro, an they hour. They have been setting up for a long time. And not time. one person has come like, oh, yeah, you're not open yet. Wait, and by the way, is this monster related too? No. Nah. No, this is just a normal. This, this is just a regular this. situation. It starts in an hour. Yeah, this is like a real uh, a whole it, situation. There's gonna be like 400 people out there. Oh, you really? said that because she got a monster hat on playing the that, fucking bongos. Wait, wow. The bartender. Is that a bartender site? I can't see. I think the bartender's on the bongos. <laughs> no, that wasn't the bartender. Oh, she was just chilling, walking by. That's Maria. Maria. She just was walking by. Hey, let me play the bongos. Maybe she's just a big fan oh, yeah, of Monster. Yeah. I like Slife that your kids just think you like drinking Monster. Yeah, they think it's my favorite drink. I love drinking Monster. They're just like, yeah, you love a Monster beverage, don't you? Absolutely. Um... So what do you, I guess I don't know. I don't. I can't answer that. I don't know. I don't know who's more influential. Peer, like, who's? Because it's interesting. Jay Z is the biggest, but is he the most influential? He influences a lot. But influence is such a weird. He had the whole game, everybody in the world. Right? Can I tell you this? Well, how, about, ups how about this? At though? one point. How about this? This. I, I think this is actually almost trite. It's so obvious what I'm going to say, but like, no one's as influential as Rakim. To me, Rakim's still the number one most influential. See, it's in terms crazy of how he changed Rakim rhyming. was before my era, so I didn't see the full he, spectrum. The, the, the level I don't of think cool. I don't think influential is the right word for that. What do you mean, nah. though? He made, his his, his level he, of cool, his his rhyming. His but t- now seeing it back, it seems like Eric B was really the, that guy. And well, Rakim no, that was different. Was, he, was the, he was the straight yeah. guy. But Rakim was cool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. And Rakim Rakim's rhyme style. I'm talking about rhyme style influential. But that's what I'm saying. He was. The biggest, how do we say it? Uh, like it turned the, mu- on the culture. Yeah. Yeah, he turned the But what about cool G Rap? Saying that. But G Rap's G-Rap, different. It's G Rap, KRS, Kane, Rakim. Those four. Literally. Called this whole new style. Okay. Literally, there's hip hop before them and there's hip hop after them. Facts. But here's the thing Rakim and G Rap, in my opinion, of those four you just named. Rakim and G-Rap are the two most advanced as rappers. Fine. They're more advanced, I think, than Chris or but, Yeah, but then Who do you Kane think will win in the battle? If they... Well, no like one's beating KRS because of his state... No, that's KRS. Oh. Yo, I just recently saw a KRS show for the first time. Oh. Live? And I, live. Congrats. And I was like... Congratulations. Fuck your life. Yes. what you thought. Play myself. No, no, you thought, life. fuck my yeah, own yeah, life. Yeah. What am I even doing yeah, trying facts, to do this? Facts. Fuck my life. Fuck I was like, life. yo, this should be criteria for any rapper ever. You have to see a KRS One oh, show disgusting. to see how it's really done. Yo, it's crazy what he's capable bro, of. Bro, I was like, bro, he had the whole crowd and the, and ter- the whole Terminal Five in the palm of his hand. Mm-hmm. He came out doing a freestyle and had the crowd going crazy. What did I miss at Terminal Five? What show was that? It was like some, I don't know, some Halloween shit maybe. I've I've missed a bunch of good shit this year. The DJ Cassidy shit the other day looked Yo, like that crazy. Yo, that shit looked crazy. I'm mad I didn't go. Me too. And MC Search came to my store and bought clothes to wear there, and he was like, "Yo, I'm coming to this Cassidy. You want to go?" I was like, "Yeah." What nah. was Cassidy? Cassidy had his his uh, past the mic shit. Bro, I seen Ken and Play doing Radio their City. shit. Everyone. Onyx. Yo, Onyx. Oh, that I saw the flyer for that. That was Cassidy singing. Yes. Yeah. I don't even know who DJ Cassidy is. Cassidy is a. Uh, He's, he's been a DJ forever. He was the kid. His dad was a record label. Oh, no, his dad was a business manager. A business manager. You ever heard Biggie when he goes something something Burt Padel? Yeah. That's his father. Burt oh, Padel's his dad? Yeah. That's who it was? 
He's yeah. white? Yeah. yeah. Cassidy? Yeah. No, like, uncolored white. <laughs> yeah, Cassidy's <laughs> like, yeah, what's whiter than white? <laughs> Billy June. Yeah, he's, he's Billy June white. <laughs> um, Yo, listen, what's your thoughts about Onyx? Um, I think they're one of the greatest rap what groups ever. Was no, that? I love they it. Did no, the no. DJ Cassidy shit. They did too. Yeah. I love the one upness of 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 Gorilla Nems. Yo, um, I think did they was Onyx also required to go throw you guns in the air? They, we love you, Cassidy, yeah, and Buck yeah. Buck like you just don't care. We love you, Cassidy. Are you? Yo, I think shut them down. Shut them down. You're gonna bring them shut them down. Wow. You don't hear that every day. I think Sife doesn't even know what you're talking about. It inspired about. me to be a rapper. What? Yes. More than the first album? Yes. I like the first. Shut album. Shut them down. I only know one thing and about. And have Shut 50 Cent on. I only know one thing about Shut Them Down. Yo, I'm the live. It's alive. Watch me show you. That's the only thing yep. I know about that. Blow your punch. head off your shoulder. Your, your own, own mother won't, won't know, know you. you. Yep. Pun. Yep. Pun really said some crazy shit. Are you? Is, is, Pun is my favorite rapper. Me too. Ever. You know that, right? Nah. You didn't know that? Nope. Here's another. You want to you want to fuck your life? Yeah. You want to fuck your life? Yeah. I'm such a pun fan. Yeah. Like, and I was so public when I got to New York about saying puns the greatest of all time. He's the greatest he of all time. His son Chris, yeah. for my birthday, like eight years ago, shows up at my house with this fucking gigantic thing, and I open it, and I have it to this day. And hip hop museum, you can come calling me, but I doubt I'm gonna give it to you. And gave me in a frame Pun's outfit from when he was on Moesha. He the gave, whole it, gave it to you? Yes. In a whole frame. That must be a big a ass frame. Bruh, the frame weighs like 200 pounds. It's the, I don't even know if I can fucking move it. But wow. yeah, he gave it to me as a gift. That's, wow. That's super That's dope. I know. Chris is the fucking greatest yeah. guy ever. Crazy gift. You didn't know that? I never heard that. Yo, yeah, I love to Chris me, Rivers. Capital Punishment is better than. Ready they're to gonna die? Kill me. They're Ready gonna to kill die? me. It's better than Ready to Die. It's definitely better than Pac's first album. Um, whoever out is better. Illmatic? Than... What? Mm. Illmatic, I said. Hip hop will kill me if I say yes. Yeah. I... But to me, a Puerto Rican growing up in that era, that was my time, like when I first was like becoming maybe a rapper, like that time, that influenced me more than Illmatic. I think Capital Punishment is... It's not, I can't say it's better than Nomadic. I also can't it say also it's better. It also is. If Pun would have took the, the best 10 songs from that well, album... Well, that's the thing. He, he, it's got like it's got a lot. Yeah, 17, got, 19, yeah, like 18, 19. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. like parental advisory at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then there's skits. But, it, but if you look at the best of Capital Punishment, what he's able to do on it yep. is... And he yeah, had but, Black Thought before Black Thought was, not, was thought of as that guy. That's true. And that's Black actually Thor that song is part of what established Black Thought as that, that guy. guy. Yes. Although Pun goes so crazy on yes. that song. But that I heard but those Pun bars. Thought. I heard freestyles at Hot 97. Just call me Baby Jesus. Is that baby, 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 that one that, with Angie. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard that. I was I've, like, yo, that's when I first heard that. When he was just freestyle, I was like, bro, who he is did that this on? Guy? I don't. I, I. It's hard to ready to die. He rapped the shit on the Drew it's, Hill in my bed remix beat. Yeah. That's the beat he's rapping on. Yep. He does it. Ready to die. Dun, dun, dun. Is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. For what you're saying. And I'm from Brooklyn. No, I Ready to die is our Bible. No, no, no. But for what you're saying, I have to put it under a, a New York dome. Yeah, of course. Because in New York, yes, I agree with you. But what Biggie did. Turn yeah, yeah, of over. course, of course. But like, if you just put a dome over New York and play them back to back and drive on the BQE or the Bronx River, or whatever, did Capital Punishment beware, like, beware when that fucking when boomerang? I, yo, I remember first putting that CD on. Punish should be taking them out, baby, man, and it right into Beware. Look, I still get chills. Yeah, yeah. just it's that ju Juju. That beat by Juju. But oh, look, 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 my head is still standing. The way, like, the way Ready to Die comes in with the fucking yeah, yeah, but that yeah, was the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into um, things don't change. Yeah. But here's the thing, though, that the the beware the puffy, is that things don't change. Ooh, that's a good battle. Hundred percent. Beware Bro, the puffy, the puffy production. Yeah. And knowing what he wanted to make, Biggie made the album more, I guess, cohesive. polished, cohesive and polished. So let's put that aside, right? Pun just was like, give me that beat, yep. bars, raps, yep. 
I don't give a fuck if this goes platinum or not. I don't care what it does. He this did that is on the his essence own. of on his own. how I rap. Yep. And then, because the song that blew it up is a remix. It's not. Was it on the album? I feel yeah. like yo, that beat was somebody else's first. The uh, Brenda Russell. Who was right? I remember hearing somebody else rapping over that. And they like, oh no, he's hip hop. Bought it, got it for Jay, but Jay didn't do it. It wasn't gonna be a Jay Z song. Nah, I heard there was another song at that time when that song dropped that had the same beat. I'm telling you, I'm somebody. What song's bigger? Not what was what was a bigger still not a player or or juicy? No, juicy. Juicy. Juicy's bigger anyway. Yeah. This is a worldwide It was classic. all a dream, bro. But, but was it, but still not a player, it was a worldwide hit. Nah, yeah. Not like, not like. Nah, Juicy, Juicy, like yeah, the, Juicy's bigger. I would assume, yeah. But they like, because then also like, would you say pun is better than life after death? Capital punishment? Life after death is up there. But yeah. Because like, because now I'm thinking like, because my I favorite. I said first album, bro. Okay, yeah, because one of my favorite songs is the... Um, was Yeah Baby a disappointment to you? Yes. Me too. Of course. I have songs I love on it. Yes, same But it, yeah, it's, it's, def it's definitive. I'm like, yo, why didn't you use any samples? Like, why are you going with these fucking DMX Swiss Beats beats that's not produced by Swiss on this? Uh, yeah, it was a that's weird... What was the Opera the Steve guy on it. Like, what the you're fuck not gonna is get that? No, you're not going to get no published That's what I was thinking, but I'm like, yo, there's such a difference between... Well, also, he wasn't well yes. when he made it. His breath Absolutely. control was yeah. gone. Mm -hmm. It's just not... The it has good shit on it. It does. But New it York just, Giants is... I love watch yeah. those. I bet um, you if you took some of the beats out, the rhymes still smack. Yeah. But some of the beats I feel like he out. wasn't on point with the rhymes as much as Cal. No, it's no, not, not the same no. level. He, but yeah, as people uh, uh, explain it, it's like, yo, you spend your whole life getting up to that no, first album. Matic. And then the Yo, second album. is like, he had 10 years. Bro, he, had, he was 19 years old. Right, so he'd been writing that for Mom 10 Deep years. Mom Deep with the infamous, 19 years old. No, no, bro. but they had an album before that. I know, but they, when they came, when they wrote that album, they were 19 yeah, years old, oh, the same yeah, Shook yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of that yeah, shit they yeah. were talking about was so advanced that, like, bro, 19? Yeah, 19. It's, it's crazy. Well, their mind crazy. was crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm only 19, but my mind was, 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 was,